Alright, so, welcome back to Source Studios, time for another Mandalorian episode recap. This is chapter 11 called, oh, what was this, what was this episode called? Um, this chapter, there, there's, there's a name for it, I, I, I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, so, yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, we got to see... Oh, we're like really diving into Star Wars now. Like, uh, like, we are diving into some deep stuff. So, for any viewer who does not, who is not a Star Wars fan, who like just started watching the Star Wars because of Baby Yoda, there's a lot to unpack in this episode. I'm gonna try to hit the main point so this video isn't too long. First of all, we see a different clan of Mandalorians, technically pre Vizsla. Now, pre Vizsla, clan Vizsla um, is uh, one of the Mandalorian clans that lived on one of the moons of Mandalore during the Clone Wars. Uh, they were run by pre Vizsla, and he was the leader of, I mean, you know, the Vizsla clan, makes sense. He was the owner of the Darksaber. Um, he stole it from the Jedi Temple, actually. So, the dark saber was actually a relic in the Jedi Temple. He stole it. Um, you can see more of him in the Clone Wars. Which, if you haven't seen the Clone Wars, then what are you doing with your life? Go watch the Clone Wars and come back. Um, and so he owned the dark saber. Uh, we then, you know, see a lot of interesting. Uh, well, sorry, stuff. Uh, happened in Mandalore, like Darth Maul takes over. Uh, by the way, there's a lot of spoilers in here. Darth Maul takes over. Um, he creates his own sort of, like, he kind of like takes over Clan Vizsla, but then there's a couple people who fight back. They keep the blue armor. Darth Maul reinstates new Mandalorian armor, black and red, sort of to match his skin tone. And so Bo-Katan is one of the last remaining members of Clan Vizsla. <laughs> and, uh, she was in charge of the occupation of Mandalore um, near the end of the Clone Wars, but then um, stuff happened. And then if you watch Rebels, you get to see more Mandalorians. Oh my gosh, I hear good, but um, <laughs> more Mandalorians. Um, and the Darksaber is passed sort of like between Sabine and Bo, which by the way, the redhead, that's Bo-Katan in the episode. Moth Gideon gets it. We don't know why we don't know why yet but we do know Bo-Katan needs the dark saber in order to rule Mandalore once again which that's that's the goal um her sister Satine uh Duchess Satine she was the ruler of Mandalore um but unfortunately her rule came to an end um, so, yeah, also you can tell that this is a different type of clan. It was sort of explained in the episode, which was very interesting, that they're allowed to take off their Mandalorian helmets. No, that was a question uh, that I had. Why did Clan Vizsla take off their helmets so much? But this Mandalorian, it's, it appears it's a different sect. It's a different uh, faction. That's interesting. That's very curious that how I was brought in. I love seeing the Koran and the Mon Calamari. <laughs> they're some of my favorite species. Um... Yeah, the Razor Crest <laughs> looks like crap. <laughs> I, that sucks. Oh gosh. Um, yeah. Oh, what else? What else happened? Oh, we got to see a freaking um, a freighter. We got to see an Imperial freighter. We got a Lego set of it. We've only seen it in cartoon versions in uh, the Rebels. Um, but now we got to see one in real freaking life, which those things are huge. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Um, got to see some stormtrooper action. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, that was really cool. And then watching the Mandalorian at the end, just like, just like muscle his way through the blast. <laughs> He's just getting like hit in his best armor, just <laughs> explodes everything. That's amazing. Uh, I'm happy to see that Moff Gideon is not just like an afterthought. You know, like he's in there. Um. So they they brought him back, uh. But more importantly, most importantly, of this entire episode, Bo Katan is sending the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda to see none other than 
Ahsoka Tano. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You Lego fans who are collecting Ahsoka Tano's, there might be another Mandalorian set coming out, and they might make another Ahsoka Tano. You're going to have to get all of them. Uh, that's going to be a great minifigure selling point, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> Ahsoka Tano, here we go. Probably the next episode. Unless the next episode is a filler episode. It could be. It could be. Um, I don't think it will. I think the next, next episode is going to introduce us. To Ahsoka, and I hope that's not the last time we see bo -Katan. I think that'd be really stupid if we just left bo off there. I think, I'm pretty sure we'll see her again. It was, was really cool to see, like, live-action Clan Vizsla Mandalorians. We saw it a lot in the Clone Wars animation, uh, but to see them fight in, like, live-action, that's pretty cool. That's some pretty cool stuff. Oh, that was a really good episode. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think of, I mean, everything, everything was just well-crafted and beautifully done. And I love the, uh, the way that they do the Imperials. And I'm going to keep yawning. I'm going to go to bed. So, thank you everyone for watching. Sorry, uh, Studios. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe down below for more content. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, peace.